Game one of the post-Andrew Luck era. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, the two wildcard teams from the AFC last year, the opener, as we'll see the Indianapolis Colts minus their newly retired franchise quarterback take on the L.A. Chargers. I'll be back at halftime, but first, we're off to Southern California. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, under hazy, overcast L.A. skies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Chargers. So happy to be with you, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. And we thought it would never get here, but here we are back together. It's opening weekend of the 100th season in the NFL. So much football to talk about. That's our main focus. But how about how much happened in the offseason? Rules changes. Overtime rules were discussed in a big way. Some superstars changed addresses. There's a whole lot to talk about in the NFL. In addition to this game, we're getting ready to watch. Now the elder statesman of the NFL, Adam Vinatieri, set to get us started. And we are underway in Southern California. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers' all-time passing leader, Phillip Rivers, who's been their starter since 2006, trotting onto the field. And I'll tell you what, he may be just a couple of years from 40, but he can still do it. You look back to 2018, some people were whispering MVP and Rivers in the same breath with what he did in that campaign. Especially impressive in two December primetime victories, one against the Steelers, one against the division rival Chiefs. And although Return. things ended Ready. not quite how they wanted in the playoffs to New England, Phillip Rivers still feels like he has a lot left in the tank. Rivers now to throw on first down. It's Williams on the catch. And all the way down to the 35. on the very first snap of the game. Some guy running free like we just saw there. Heck of a start for this offense, no doubt. Rivers on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. And we get a quick look at the Chargers starting offense. If you're going to talk about great players with the Chargers, you have to include their center, Mike Pouncey, a four-time Pro Bowler. He and his brother Marquise for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were the Pro Bowl centers for the AFC in 2018. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Now a carry by the third-year man. This is Austin Eckler. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Long way to go. Don't get discouraged if you have to have to run a few more plays on your next drive. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Colts under second-year coach Frank Wright. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game. equipped or not just settle in get calm before you go for the big strikes reset to throw on first into the hands of his running back marlon mack and he'll be corralled right around the 34 indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12 from the 34 now here's first and 10 off the play fake here's percent and the Chargers rush is going to get there. Downey. The case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. This is Marlon Mack, third year running back. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. 
Well, this week one matchup between the Colts and the Chargers, there are a couple of ties between the two franchises. Of course, Colts head coach Frank Reich, he spent two seasons as the Chargers offensive coordinator in 2014 and 15. Then he would have two years as the Eagles OC before coming on to the Super Bowl. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. This will be fielded at the 17. for a second like he might take it all the way but happen up the defense a little bit loosen them up have them back on their heels throwing again rivers on second and ten complete it's henry They'll get nine there. Is that who wants it more this time the offense? Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. They go play action here on first down, eluding the pressure right. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. <laughs> No problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And what is touchdown? One of the more impressive punt returns you will see. That one from 87 Yoni. one nothing. Our score after one. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. To throw the set. Blitz coming and down he goes. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. If I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Play fake. We're set. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. He can cause. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. To throw. Rivers. It's complete to Williams. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's brought down after a very not the Chargers 43. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Reset sets to throw it. He completes this one to Mack. Oh, and Mack has the ball stripped. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Throwing again. Hey, I could have... And we've seen so many times now, guys who go lower in the draft, undrafted free agents that become big time. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. And they're route running savvy. Joker, 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 Joker. They run on first down with Jackson. And he takes it in for a Charger attack on this game and on the stat sheet as well. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Brissett, and the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Back now at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Throw it. Brissett. And this is... And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. And someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen. Touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Throwing again, Brissett on second and 10. Throw complete there, Rodgers. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. On third down, Brissett. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And they'll set up shock right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They'll run on first down. Jackson. That's good for 21 yards and a first. That's the run he's been waiting for, Charles. He's been bottled up all game. That run alone got him more yards than he had in all his previous carries combined. And don't think for a second he doesn't know that because every bat that I know can almost calculate every yard with every step that they take. He had to be frustrated because of what's happened during the game. Has to feel a lot better. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Jackson. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. As his guys continue to pour it on. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it. But now you actually have to go out and prove it. They had two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Mike Badgley is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. 
That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. But it's going to be second down. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Brissett. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Denzel Perryman in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. It's third and long for Brissett. Funches has it complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it in at the 22. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, it's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And picked up by the Chargers. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. They go play action here on first down. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The free safety, Malik Hooker, there in coverage. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third down, they'll throw with stick. Got a man. It's his tight end, Lance Kendricks. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. 
Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. On first and 10, Brissett. Ebron's got it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. A first down throw for Brissett. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Brissett again. Into the hands of his running back, Marlon Mack. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle him almost on the spot. That means you have to run. Looking for Funchess, but it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act. That enter He's got daylight past the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 33. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. Now Jackson. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. We play to win. Let's so plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the home team here, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season.